Hello everyone, my name is Fasun Talan. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate enhanced vegetation index using Sentinel image in Quantum JS. But before going to the calculation part, first let us see what the difference between EVI and the NDVI plus why we, we prefer to use the EVI than NDVI. Actually, both of them are the vegetation indexes which are used to calculate the healthiness of vegetation, but their basic difference is the bands we are going to use in order to calculate them for example for enhanced vegetation index we use three bands and for the ndvi we use we use only two bands uh, those are near infrared band and red band but for the enhanced vegetation uh, index we use extra blue band plus we use some options so this is their basic difference but why we prefer to use the enhanced vegetation index than NDVI because we have different reasons but the major ones are the following for example enhanced vegetation index it is more sensitive to change in areas having high biomass this is a serious shortcoming or problem of NDVI this is the first major reason why we prefer to use the enhanced vegetation index and the other one is the enhanced vegetation index reduces the influence of atmospheric condition on the vegetation index value. For example, for the NDVI, in order to calculate the temporal variation of the NDVI, we need to check the image at the same time or at the same atmospheric condition. For example, let us say we want to compare the vegetation index value of today and tomorrow NDVI. So in order to compare we need to check the image at the same time. For example, if you check at 2 a.m. today, you have to check at 2 a.m. tomorrow. Even if the time is the same, you have to also consider the condition. If it is a cloudy condition, you have to use the same cloudy condition. If it is sunny, it should be sunny day, okay? If today is sunny day and if you take the photo or the image today, it should be at the same time plus it should be in the same atmospheric condition this is for NDVI but for the enhanced vegetation index we don't need to consider those kind of conditions because this enhanced vegetation index can reduce the influence of atmospheric condition so this is the other reason why we prefer to use the enhanced vegetation index and the third one and the last one is it corrects or canopy background signals this is the third um, reason why we prefer to use the enhanced vegetation index than the ndvi okay so according to this authors this is the original formula for calculate for calculating the enhanced vegetation index we have near infrared band red band plus blue band and we have some questions so this near infrared band red band and blue band it should be corrected atmospherically corrected uh, surface reflectance so if you are going to use landsat 8 image you have to atmospherically correct the bands for example now i'm going to use the sentinel to level 2a image so this level 2a image is already corrected so i don't need to do the atmospheric correction but if you are going to use 1c so you should to correct it or you should to do the atmospheric correction but for me i'm not going to use i'm not going to do the atmospheric correction plus this c1 c2 and l this um, questions are extracted from modus uh, enhanced vegetation index product so we have extracted this question from modus evi product okay L is 1, C1 is 6, C2 is 7.5. So this is the original formula. So you can replace C1 with 6, C2 with 7.5. Okay, so we have 2.5. So in Sentinel 2 level 2A image, we have this bands. We have 12 bands. So band 2 is blue band and band 4 is red band band 8 is near infrared band so i have already downloaded the sentinel image so 
So I have a video how to download Sentinel image, so you can refer that video in order to know how to download. So open the quantum JS, so I've already opened it. So I have this band 8, band 4, and band 2. Hmm. Scene. So I have extracted some area from this bands. Okay, see as you see from here. This is the extracted. Okay, we have band eight, band four, and band two. So in order to calculate the enhanced vegetation index, goes raster calculator, raster and the raster calculator. Then mm, type two point five. First we have two point five then open bracket two times then band eight but here don't forget to divide each band by ten thousand okay ten thousand this is the rescaling factor minus band four divided by ten thousand close the bracket divided open bracket band eight divided by 10,000 plus 6 times 6 times band 4 ok don't forget to divide it with 10,000 minus 7.5 times band 2 divided by 10,000 plus 4 close bracket 2 times and then check the formula ok 2 and 5 and 8 and 4 divided by 8 6 times and 4 minus 7.5 times and 2 this one so the formula is correct so give output name let me call it EVA final okay then click OK okay as you see from here our enhanced vegetation index ranges from minus 0 0.2 to 0 0.69 so this is the enhanced vegetation index of this area so you can calculate this enhanced vegetation index by the following the same procedures thank you for listening if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe ciao